Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. So every time the subject pops up about full length sizing with 2000s bump, the argument starts. Now, what's the argument? It's not even neck sizing versus full length sizing now. <laughs> now it's about full length sizing versus shoulder bumping and talking about how if you're only bumping 2000s, you're not technically full length sizing. You're simply bumping the shoulders. Well, that is not correct. If you're only bumping the shoulders 2000s, it doesn't matter. You are sizing the entire case. The people arguing this point always say that bringing it back to Sammy, that's typically what they say, bringing it back to Sammy is full length sizing. Well, what does that mean? Who is Sammy <laughs> or what is Sammy? Well, today we're gonna explore that because everybody that makes that argument it's obvious that they don't understand what Sammy is or what they're even talking about okay so that's okay no big deal I was there once and most people don't even understand what this means so today we're gonna talk about that and hopefully by the time you're done watching this video you will at least have a deeper understanding of what it means to size to Sammy specs okay all right so let's jump right into it all right so first of all what is Sammy well, Sammy is the Sporting Arms and Ammunition Manufacturers Institute, okay? That's all Sammy means. So what that means is the manufacturers, firearms manufacturers got together and came up with specifications of a certain cartridge, okay? So for example, here we're looking at the 284 Winchester. Now, if you wanna know where I found this, is you can go to, uh, I'll show you right here. You can go to sammy.org and uh, you can go strictly uh, you know directly to their page you go to cartridge and chamber drawings and then you go to you know you have rimfire pistol and revolver rimfire shot shell you can go to rim uh you go to rifle and there it is it's all here there are tons of cartridges uh pretty much all the sammy stuff right here and you can click on any of these and then you can see their uh their prints okay so anyway, today we're gonna look at the 284 Winchester. When we're talking about Sammy, or people talk about you know bringing it back to Sammy specs, this is the print, okay? This is, um, again, 284 Winchester. So, all right, Sammy is, just like everything else, they have specs, okay? They have specifications. Uh, obviously, they're not going to give you a, a uh, an absolute number, okay? It, everything's going to have variants, okay? Those are called, um, what are they called? <laughs> tolerances. They're called tolerances. Obviously, the most important one that we're dealing with here is headspace. If you get outside of that tolerance, that chamber is no longer deemed safe at least according to Sammy, okay? Because if you get outside of the Sammy spec, all of a sudden when you buy dies, or you know you buy a rifle with that chamber or anything, it is not gonna fit properly. So it is deemed unsafe. Now, if you say, you know, Sammy doesn't tell me how to live my life, <laughs> if you fall under that group, well now you're a wildcat, okay? Once you get outside of the Sammy specs, uh, that's known as a wildcat or an improved cartridge. The difference between improved and wildcat is uh, it's not that you can't buy ammo for because a lot of people that's kind of the definition uh, that they use for for a wildcat. Uh, if that was the case, then every cartridge would be a wildcat right now because you pretty much can't buy ammo for anything. So real quick, let me touch on that. A wildcat cartridge is one that the brass must be modified before it can fit your case or your chamber, okay? For example, um, if you're gonna make a, well, you know, we're talking about 284, right? The 65284 was a wildcat because you had to neck down your brass before you could uh, put it into that chamber. Or like a six by 47 Lapua, that is a wildcat because you must modify the brass before it can fit in your chamber. Okay, a dasher or a 260 Ackley improved or any of those, 
those are improved cartridges. That means you can actually take the parent case, feed it in the chamber, and after you fire it, it will fire form to the new cartridge. That is an improved cartridge. You can actually feed it uh, parent case into the chamber, no problem, and then of course you will eject an improved cartridge. So that's the difference between Wildcat and improved, okay? All right, let's get into uh, Sammy and Sammy specs and Sammy tolerances. All right, so let's look at the uh, 284 Winchester. Uh, again, this is uh, this is the Sammy print. This is uh, what the manufacturers have to go by in order to create a chamber, create dies, create all of that. Okay, uh, and everything has a tolerance. For example, look at this one right here. The uh, this is the uh, the groove thickness right here, or the width, and you can see right there it's forty plus ten thousands. It's forty thousands plus ten thousands. That means it can be forty thousands or fifty thousands. Okay, anywhere in between that, it's fine. Okay, uh, same thing for the case head. It can be four seventy three in diameter minus 10,000 so it can be 463 or 473 anything inside of that it's fine same thing for bullet diameter look at this 284 minus 3000 so you can actually have a 281 bullet and still be considered in spec now we are fairly spoiled nowadays with the quality of bullets that we can buy because Honestly, if you saw a bullet that's one, uh, three thousandths under <laughs> bullet diameter, I mean, we'd be up in arms, right, about it. But uh, those, technically, it is still in spec, right? Uh, now, again, that is a Sammy print, uh, and uh, obviously, the bullet manufacturers don't really care about that too much. But again, I'm just saying, this is Sammy, okay? All right, so back to the. Uh, to the to the chamber okay the, the 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 number that we're going to discuss today is this one right here headspace dimension okay that is the number that we are trying to maintain whenever we full length size a case okay and like I said a lot of people talk about uh, Sammy you know bumping back to Sammy if, if you know if, if, if you only bump in 2000s you're not sizing back to Sammy well again you are you're supposed to be inside the Sammy spec the entire time so whenever you fire you, you know your chamber at its minimum size needs to be inside the Sammy specs or at its maximum if it's outside of that that chamber is no longer deemed safe so you should always be inside of Sammy. When you full length size, you know, according to whatever, bump it all the way back, you're still in Sammy. Now, what is the the uh, the tolerance? What is the variance in headspace that you can have and still be within Sammy specs? Take a while. You can stop the video right now. Go to the comments and type in your uh, your guess as to what you think that tolerance is before I go on. By the way, while you're there, just swing by and give it this video a like because I think a lot of you guys are about to have your minds blown. Okay? All right. You went ahead and made your comment and you gave me a like for this. Now let's go look at it. Cuz I mean, we can we can argue all day long on Facebook <laughs> or in the comment section, but I mean, this is Sammy spec. This I mean, this is straight from the Sammy website. Headspace dimension right here. The this is it right here, 1820 max. This is for a 284 Winchester. So 1.820 is the maximum headspace dimension from the base of the case to the shoulder right here. 1820 is the max. The minimum is 1810. There are ten thousands, ten thousands of variants that you can have in your headspace and still be within Sammy specs. So again, 
typically when you get your brass it's going to be at minimum or slightly under so that it can fit even the, the, the smallest chamber you, your factory brass will still fit okay once you fire it uh, obviously it's gonna it's gonna grow and it's gonna be inside of Sammy spec how much well you can be zero or one thousandth or you can be ten thousandths okay and that is you are still <laughs> in Sammy spec okay so let's just say you have a extremely generous chamber and you are at Sammy max okay which what is that 1810 uh, no no 1820 so you're at 1.820. You only bump the shoulder back two thousandths. Okay, so now you're at 1.818. You are <laughs> inside of Sammy spec. Uh, even though your brass, when you got it, it was probably 1808 or 1810 even, right? It was it was obviously on the small side because brass manufacturers need to make sure that it will fit every chamber, the minimum and the max. Obviously, it'll fit the maximum as well, but to say that bumping 2000s is not full length sizing is obviously incorrect. Now, how do you uh, manufacture size the brass or their, their full length sizing uh, dies? Well, the same way. They're gonna be below SAMI spec, below the minimum, okay? So again, if you are inside the SAMI spec, which is those 10 thousands of, of uh, variants, and you run that through a full length sizing die, you will have full length sized it because your full length sizing die is gonna be smaller than the minimum, okay? And your brass for that chamber to be deemed safe needs to be inside a SAMI spec. This is the maximum, this is the minimum. Well, your full length sizing dies need to be under the minimum, okay? So that whenever you, you get your brass out and it springs back and all that stuff, you're at least at minimum. Okay, so again, this is Sammy. You can be up here or you can be here, 10 thousandths, and you're still within Sammy spec. So this brass, if it's up here and you bump it two thousandths, or you're down here and you bump it two thousandths, you are still within Sammy spec, okay? And if you bump that shoulder even one thousandth, heck, you don't have to bump the shoulder at all. If you size it with the brass, if you size it with a full length sizing die, okay? and the brass comes out exactly the same way it went in but it's already sized guess what you full length sized it because think of it like an animal uh, like a balloon animal right you squeeze the bottom the top gets longer same thing with brass if you full length size and the shoulder comes out the exact same you know base to shoulder the same dimension you full length sized it because the, the die kept it from growing forward that shoulder okay so anyway uh that's you know <laughs> that's how stuff actually works okay you don't have to size the brass to minimum to say that it's back to sammy sammy is ten thousands variance so keep that in mind um and hopefully this opened up some uh you know some eyes as to how this stuff actually works bumping two thousands is full length sizing and even bumping zero thousands <laughs> is full length sizing Okay, you are sizing the entire case. Back to uh, back to the print. There, there's so much here that you can you can look at and uh, and appreciate. You know, for example, uh, you know it tells you everything here. Here's your uh, you know case length and uh, you know whatever. Uh, it's all here. For example, there it is right here. Your overall length. You can be from 2.765 to 2.8. Obviously, we are wildcatters, right? <laughs> and we have long freeboards, and and obviously those chambers are not Sammy spec, at least not in the freeboard department. Uh, so yeah, they they you know we can kind of live outside of Sammy specs, but yeah, as far as the headspace is concerned, yeah, you're you're as long as you run it through the full length sizing die, you are full length sizing. Now, I'm gonna touch on something else right quick. Uh, bump dies they are a bad idea they are if they're only bumping the shoulder and they're not sizing the, the the base of the case it's a bad idea why well the case the base keeps growing okay and if you're not sizing it you're gonna get to the point 
that it is going to be too big and you are no longer going to be able to uh, size or fit the brass in the chamber correctly you're going to start getting clicks on extraction it's it's going to be it's going to be a problem okay uh, and you can't anneal the base so once that happens you're done that brass is done you you could try a uh, small base die or there's other things you can try but guess what just full length size the brass and you'll be fine back to the the circle with the cross about headspace this is the headspace where you're supposed to measure the headspace at 420 but uh, anyway take a look at these prints i think you're going to learn a lot from looking at these prints and uh, you can understand a lot also by by looking at them and kind of uh, looking at how things actually fit and how they're supposed to fit and uh, anyway so next time somebody says to full length size and you think only bumping two thousands is not full length sizing well it is <laughs> and sizing back to sammy uh is actually not a thing because you're supposed to be inside the sammy spec the entire time all right guys I hope you learned something today. Um, I hope this helps. This is just something that I've seen quite often used as an argument uh, by people that say that 2000s bump is not full length sizing. Well, it is guys. Uh, there's the facts and uh, I hope again you learned something. All right. I will see you guys next time and in the meantime, keep them centered. And I